Sunday, on this rainy Sunday morning. Amen. 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 Glad the Lord's been good to us. I'm glad he been kind to us. He's been better to us than we deserve. Amen. 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 Thank God for just being able to be here this morning. And thank God for you being here. I hope you had a good day so far. All right, let's turn to page 10 this morning in, uh, in the hymnal. Page number 10. <coughs> This ought to be our, all our desires. Yeah. This song right here. Amen. Jesus, keep me near the cross. There shall precious Jesus said. 
Oh! 
shoes on my feet. I have been blessed. Hey, hey, I have been blessed. God's so good to me. Hey, Precious are his thoughts for you. you and me. No way I could count them. There's not enough time. Hey, hey, so I yeah. just thank you yeah. for oh. being so Yes, kind. sir. Thank the Lord. Yeah. God has right. been
about people just dying to say some of the words last word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not worth some of the last words for people that's lost to die. Mm -hmm. And all of them said, I, I, I hear music. <laughs> I hear I hear I hear something. And I tell you what, I believe it. God will say, I don't believe that. You don't know. We don't know what the Lord reveals to us when we get before we leave here. Yeah. I'll be glad. I'm glad I got peace today. No one may be glad. Don't ask yourself, have you got peace when you die today that you'll go to heaven? Mm -hmm. Tell it. Do you know any doubt in your mind? Tell it. I mean, you can get in that car today and get that road and your car hide the plane, you run in the woods and get killed. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. You better make sure and call it election sure, my friend. Because the devil takes no the, the death, he takes prisoners. <coughs> and the devil don't matter whether you're rich, young, poor, skinny, fat, ugly, right. beautiful, yeah. intelligent, yeah. or ignorant. He goes to all classes of people. <coughs> People need to understand, because you know what? We were talking about a while ago, church, and says something about our national debt. If it gets to 50 trillion, it's, it, we can't get no more. But I'll tell you what, I know one thing. We about ready to get delivered from this place. So yeah, I'm, yes, sir. I'm yeah. glad I, I ain't had the inspiration. <laughs> they come out so good to go get that footsteps out of here. <laughs> Whoa. And, and, and I know somebody said he ain't getting ready to come, he's already on the way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think that all we know is what we need. I thank God for assurance and peace. Amen. You know what? You'd be surprised if the people had got peace about Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's right. You'd be surprised this morning that people lay in their beds at night with the thoughts of horror. Come on, preacher. It starts dealing with it. Well, I got to say, I lay in bed at night, and I get, I guess the Holy, I know what the Holy Spirit did. With That's me. right. And I'd, I'd get scared. I'd cover my, my head with a cover. You know what? It didn't go away. That's right. That's right. And I remember the night when the all came, it all came together. I gave my heart to God. You know what? I, 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 I have worried sometimes about a lot of things, but one thing I ain't worried about. I know, I know one day I'm going to that land yeah. where there'll be no more dead. No, no, no more God. Yeah. No more sorrow. <laughs> no more caskets. No yeah. more no, 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 no yeah. cancel. Yeah. 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 I'm glad yeah. I'm headed to the land. Tell it now. Tell it this day. And I'm glad that Beulah land they sing about. No, I'm no, kind no. of old. Yes, Lord. sir. <laughs> for that land. Yeah. One day. Because he didn't have to. 
But I thank God for you. I thank God. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of people go to hell on the Roman road. Yeah, yeah. Roman road don't automatically save you. That's right. It, that repentance, that asking God to come to your heart and save you, that Roman road is what I use and I've taught our people to use. It ain't what, you know, you, if you ain't had that inside transformation, that's right, right, that's right, that's right. That's there's right. a good chance you've never been re regenerated. Yeah. Right. Or born again. Man. Too many people bank on emotion, you know, get some get saved. I call it coffee get salvation when I call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that preacher? When your family members get saved, they say, Well, I, I don't want to feel like that. I'll get saved too. But I didn't want to sell that. Mm -hmm. I had a lady come to our church years ago. She's 80 some years old. And I don't forget it, my mind still good, but she's dead now. But she told me that one Sunday morning she came in and she said, I wasn't going to get saved today, but I'm going to wait next year, next Sunday to get saved. It don't work like no. it. It does not work like no. it. If the Holy Spirit's not dealing with you, there's no way on this side of eternity you can get saved. That's right. 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 Amen. You can just can't turn it on and turn it off when you want to. That's right. Amen. God dealt with my heart several times and I said no. But the night I got saved, I believe that the last time yeah, she had me too. Saved. And I walked down that aisle, and you know what? When I got up that night, I knew yeah. something happened. That's right. You get saved, you know something. That's right. You That's know. right. Yes, sir. And they tell you what, I, when I got saved, I didn't go back out and water the same hog pen away. That's right. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. That's right. A lot of these folks get saved, and they run back out and lay up with a woman, lay up with a man, drink their liquor and the beer, and cuss like a slander, cheat and steal. I don't believe you got saved no, no. more of that. Yeah, no yeah. more of that, that, that uh, clean that cold it is. Yeah. I tell you what, when you get born again, mm -hmm. you'll know it. That's right. Everybody else will know it. Too. <laughs> amen. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I said that. Well, it's pretty good. Yeah, amen. Amen. Somebody needed that. Amen. amen. Turn to First Timothy this morning. Get the Bible. It's good to be in the Lord's house. Yes, it is. Grateful this morning that the Lord has led us be here. And everybody come going to do. I saw, I saw, I saw a crazy question. Ask this hot bitch crowd. So I tell you, my dog is a hot bitch. They freeze me. I think, well, you know what? I'm glad this is a woman's place. I love that. Ooh. Yeah, amen. But 1 Timothy 3.16, let's get into the Word of God this morning. Find your place where stand in reverence to the Word of God. Verse 16 of 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy 3.16. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up, in the glory. Brother Philip, bless him. Bless the God. We thank you for yes. to to read the word this morning. Lord. Yes. I pray for all the Lord. You bless the man of God. Lord, he delivers your word today, God. I pray for God. You bless the Lord. Bless us to receive it, Lord God, for our hearts, Lord God, so we may go out to you, Lord God, in your glory and your honor, Lord. And we will be sure to be the honor of the Lord. Your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today, well, well, tomorrow actually is the actual holiday. <laughs> of Memorial Day. And the Memorial Day is the celebration or the observance in memory of those military men and women that gave their life somewhere on the battlefield for us. And I often wonder where the tradition or the holiday come from Memorial Day. And it was said back in 1863 in a little place called Columbus, Mississippi, and said there was an elderly lady there decorating the graves of her two sons that died and, and that, that was representing the South. But it's always, always also said that if uh, she finished decorating her, her son's grave with flowers, she walked over to the edge of the cemetery to two unlocked graves to heap them of, of dirt and begin to place flowers on them graves. 
And someone cried out to her and said, What are you doing, ma'am? Said, Those are the bodies of two Union soldiers. You know what she what her answer was? She said, I know. She said, but I also didn't know this. Somewhere up north there's a young mama or a mother that mourns the damage when we do violence. And they say that's what that's how the whole holiday or deserves of Memorial Day started. We honor the dead one time a year. That's on this day. But let me tell you what we understand today. Their sacrifice, I told you today, that is evident today in our country, in our life also. Thousands of sacrificed lives were not given in vain. I thank God for that. Amen. Yes. That because of their sacrifice, we're free today. And we got a right to sit in this building this morning and worship the King of Amen. Amen. That's right. We had to look, you, you, ever, you ever thought about the numbers of soldiers that died in the civil wars? Mm -hmm. They say in the Revolutionary War there was 25,000, over 25,000 that died in the Revolutionary War. In the Civil War there was 498,000, over 498,000. World War II to the 116,710 that died. World War II was 407,316. The Korean War there was 54,546. Vietnam War, they were 58,000, over 58,000. In the first Gulf War, there were 293 that died. In the Iraq War, there were 819 soldiers that died. We don't want to take lightly these men and women that stood over and seen them fall for us so that they wouldn't have to fight, we wouldn't have to fight over here in our country. Invading, invading problems. But we got to thinking about that, brother. I was thinking of another soldier that left the portals of heaven yeah. and came to this world and gave his life for atonement for our sins. Yes, that's right. And we think about the these men, and I guess tomorrow they'll have a big celebration all over, and they'll have the, I guess they'll put the grease on the tombs of the unknown soldiers in Arlington Cemetery. But there's a soldier one day that stepped on the very harsh battlefield. Oh, yeah. He took up arm and entered the fight. No, it cost him everything he had in life. <coughs> he endured the battlefield. He won the victory, but it was a big cost to him. Yeah. He not only gave his life for the country, he gave his life for all mankind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad we had a God, a Savior, mm -hmm. to do that for us? Hey. Well, every child of God, I, every day should be on the more good day to him. Amen. Amen. Oh, he's done for Amen. all of us. Amen. We need to remember the sacrifice, the greatest sacrifice in all kind, all mankind, was heaven's sacrifice. Amen. I want to preach today on every day. Should be Memorial Day, folks. Amen. You know what? I, I, I have saw this in many, many, and it's getting worse, Brother Warren, every day. Many, many preachers, and I'm talking about good preachers, have gone away from preaching about the cross. Yeah, go ahead, preacher. They want to talk about that, the issues and all this other stuff. It's good in that, but let me tell you, the Bible says, well, the preaching of the cross is to those who give me credit, she foolishness, but us which are saved with the power of God is in life. Amen. So we see here this morning, we talk about Memorial Day, the greatest of all, all soldiers. Stepped out and left everything to come to earth and came and paid that ultimate price. The ultimate price. He, he, he was, at one time, he stood alone. Everybody for sale. His father even turned his back on him when he stood on the cross and he hung on the cross and the souls of men, the sins of men were laid on his body and
and God had to turn his back on because God couldn't look on sin. But let me tell you, I'm glad that day when he hung on Calvary. Yeah, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, forgive him. Yeah. They don't know what to do. And I'm glad there at the end. But when he died, he said, Lord, you finished. In other words, the transaction had been completed. Yes, yeah, Thank you, Jesus. First of all, these verses we read you this morning, we need to remember something in these verses. We understand what he said here. As we read here, he said here in verse 16, he said, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. He said, God was manifest in the flesh. Let me tell you, we need to understand, it reminds us of the greatest offense. Jesus was God, but he was also man. Yes, he was. It reminds us of the moment, the great moment when God, the creator himself, amen, took upon himself the human flesh and stepped out in glory, out of glory, and came to this earth. Amen. It reminds them he came to the world as a human being. The Bible says he laid aside his heavenly dreams. In other words, he said, he left the portal of heaven. You remember a soldier, a lot of soldiers, right? Brother Philip Denny was in the army, and he'll tell you they moved a lot. But a soldier didn't do A soldier does this. Amen. They all, they, you know what? They, they left everything. They laid aside everything. Every, every soldier, every, every one in the military, what, he, he, he laid aside. He left his home. He left their families. Their, a lot of mamas and a lot of daddies. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of young men today sit at home or in church houses and their loved ones are somewhere far away serving because they think we've got a, got a country worth fighting. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's good, person. From all eternity, Jesus had lived, lived in heaven. Amen. It wasn't the beginning of Jesus when he was born in Bethlehem. The Bible says he was the, the, the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. But we understand this. We'll always remember his <coughs> Amen. He came. He originated a land. He was a land where he was exalted, honored, and worshipped. But he left the will in the portal of heaven, the ivory palaces of glory. Amen. Behind the kind of sin cursed in a hate filled world. Yeah. Oh, he came to a world with those that. Had long for his appearing, they would reject him. The Bible says in, in John 1 11, he came and he long, he long received him not. He came to a land where he would know he'd be mocked and ridiculed and killed. But he came anyway. I don't know about y'all, if I knew I would go move to come to a place of life, and I knew that I'd be killed and mocked, and I don't think I'd go there. Somebody help me. Amen. But he came because of love. He came anyway. He came and wrote himself in human flesh. For John 1 and 1 said in the beginning, what the, the Word and Word was with God. And the Word was God. In John 1 14, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we bear him in glory and the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The truth. He lived as a man, a man among men and died as a man of redeemed man from his sins. I was on the slave block, brother. I can't, I always remember over the book of Hosea. When old God would run off on Hosea and play the whore. And there she had been spent, she had been, war, she had been really, she had lived a rough life. She had been put on the auction block to be sold. Her beauty had been gone. She was probably tired and worn and looked for her age. And there they was going to say, hey, we're gone. Sell this woman today, you're gonna have 50, 50, 50. All of a sudden, somebody in the back room, hey, money. They said, hey, I'll buy her. I paid the price it takes to get a bag. Hey, Aren't you man. glad the Son of God? But he comes to the company yeah, for yeah, it. He said, yeah. I'll go. Yeah. I'll pay the price. Yeah. I'll buy her back. Yes, the devil yeah. took away and I'll yeah. That's good, preacher. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you what, we never forget our Savior is no ordinary man, but he's a human God, a human. He laid aside his heavenly power. When a soldier, when a soldier become a man becomes a soldier, he no longer wears most of the time civilian clothes. 
He wears a soldier, a clothes of a soldier. He donned, he donned the uniform of the nation. When Jesus came, he, he concealed his heavenly, he, he, he concealed, will he concealed his heavenly fame and earth, and he took on an earthly fame. I'll tell you what, he took upon himself the body of the man. The Bible said, let this mind be in you, which is in also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not probably to be equal to God, but made himself no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in likeness of men, and being found in fashion as a man, he, he humbled himself and became obedient in, under the death, even the death of the cross. Imagine the king, the God of all creation, born as a baby in Bethlehem. Can you imagine that? I believe them angels there, the little cattle, they ain't got to be bowed to the king. I believe that they knew, and because he's the one that made them anyway, somebody else. Yeah, amen. Amen. Let me tell you, we ought to see this today. Amen. He was God, who the earth belonged to, and the fullness thereof was no place to lay his head. Yeah. He never did have a place to lay his head. Now, none of you have ever been homeless, I believe. Always had a prayer. He, he gave it all. He, he left the splendors of heaven. The earth, eternal bliss of the Father. He came to become poor that we, through him, might be made come rich. Yeah. Oh, what heavenly soldier. We didn't remember what the price he paid. He came. He laid aside his godliness. He laid aside his godliness and went and came and dwelt among men and lived without sin. I will tell you what, friends. He was dependent upon the human mother for his necessary food. He, uh, he was hungry. Remember, he was hungry. He knew what thirst was. He, and because he took on human flesh, <coughs> he knew suffering and pain. He knew all that rejection. You know why he did that? For he did that so he could feel me in your pain, folks. Yes. He did that because he loved us. We didn't deserve it. Any of us had our justice today, don't you pray for justice? Our justice would be fried in the devil's head. Yeah. Yeah. Right, man. But God, thank you. Amen. That's good. If the ivory powers of heaven came and dwelt among me in human flesh, hey, and doing the shame, despising the, the, the shame, and doing the cross, and amen, came victorious, he lay down in his life. Yeah. He knows how to comfort us when we have trials. The Bible said in Hebrew 4, 14, seeing that we have a high priest that is passed into heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, lives hold fast, fast our profession. For we now have not have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity, but was in all points tempted like as we are and yet without sin. Let us therefore come unto the boldly, come boldly unto the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to him in time of need. Old Peter said it the best. He said, cast out all your cares on me. Hey, hey, boy, <laughs> when he came, when he came to this earth, he, he as a man, he lived like a man. He died on the cross as a man. He rose and dead as a man. He ascended back to heaven as a man. When he came to get his return as a man. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he laid aside everything. He's all omnipresent. <laughs> all 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 he limited himself to a body. Oh, what a savior we serve this morning. Think about that. What he gave up that he could give to you. Amen. Eternal life. Not only that, we need to see something else. We all we remember his accomplishment. Remember how he what he accomplished. It also said God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit. Seen of angels. Then he preached to the Gentiles and believed on, believed in only in the world. You know what he did? We need to remember how perfect he was. Bible means here justified the spirit of man. That seen the man who speaks of that approval that was upon his life. Oh, John the Baptist baptized in the river Jordan. And in the weather, the Bible says, the open heavens opened up. Mm. And all of a sudden, you heard a voice from heaven saying, <coughs> oh, My little beloved son, who am well pleased. <clears throat> and that, 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 that dove flew down over him. I'm going to tell you what, he approved it. God cast his approval upon the Son of God coming. Amen. Amen. From the 
time he was baptized in the Jordan, he was in his earthly ministry, the power of the Holy Ghost upon his life. In fact, Jesus did all. He did all. He did not as God, but as a spirit-filled man. He accomplished everything. I want to tell you what, when God saw the servant done, he was pleased. <coughs> you remember when he was announced at birth? That old heavenly choir got to go and give glory to God. Hmm. I just got on to tell you one thing this morning. We ought to remember him by the name. On a memorial day. We, we, we sang near the cross, uh, over the road under the cross, it don't touch it, it ought to touch it every time. Yeah, yes. We'll sing with dry eyes and dull voices, but I tell you what, we ought to thank God for the cross of Calvary yeah, this morning. Yeah. We ought to thank Amen. God for that sacrifice, Amen. the ultimate price paid for the sins of mankind that we all yeah. around this world, that we could, under the conviction power of the Holy Ghost of God, kneel at a place and crying to him for the yeah, giving. Yeah, he will hear that prayer. The blood has been applied. Yeah, the God yeah. the one he did for us. Amen. Amen. God. Good preaching. I tell you what, even about even from the announcement of his birth to the angels, to Matthew 4 to the angels spoke of the woman in every tomb. Jesus was the recipient of angelic presence. The angel told, told Mary and the women said, Why seek ye living among the dead? He's not here for you, is it? Yeah. They proved, let me tell you what they proved without the shed this morning. He paid the ultimate price. Yeah. And did not look for anything in return. He just loved me hey. and you. Yeah. Let me tell you what, God didn't have to search over heaven as a song puts it. God had to look over heaven to find the Savior. No, he was already a preordained. He was already, he was already the old preordained slain lamb for the foundation of the world. <coughs> can you imagine how when I, I can imagine? Oh Lord. I can imagine when Jesus died, brother Philip. Mm -hmm. I shed that blood. He didn't spill it. A lot of folks some songs said he didn't spill it, but when you spill something, you accidentally do. It was on accident. It was on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And that blood shed. And you say, preacher, now you're getting out of heaven. No, I believe you might have It's probably hell. Here he comes in the heaven, Jesus, when he comes mm -hmm. and sent Had the blood. He said, Father, <laughs> he said, it'll be the last blood you'll ever shed. <laughs> Lord, how mm -hmm. That's good. Angels, amen. And there, and Jesus hung on the cross. The Bible said Jesus told him, said, I can call twelve legions of angels to come and take me off the cross. Let me tell you, I'm glad he didn't come down. Amen. I believe the angel was a fifth was sitting there with a sword drawn. I mean, he had to do say, come get me. But he didn't because he loved me. Amen. He loved you. And he did it for us. Let's never forget. Let's never forget. Let's never forget. Let's never forget. Praise God. Amen. 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 Mm. <laughs> Praise God. He fulfilled the law. That's why I, I don't have to keep the law. Jesus fulfilled it. He didn't yes, destroy it. He came. He fulfilled every job, every tell the law. That's why I don't have to please God just to be saved. I just have to obey Him and repent and be saved, folks. Yeah. He satisfied all the demands of God. Jesus did. Back in the Old Testament there. The old preacher offered him sacrifice every day. Sacrifice. Can you imagine the smell, the flesh burning, how the stench? Now listen to this. Listen to this. Are you with me? You can see when Jesus hung on the cross, and Jesus said, "It's finished." He offered the sacrifice. I believe God might have been over the barrier of heaven and said, "Satisfied." Mm. <laughs> no more, no more slain bulls and goats, amen. Hey, Jesus, pay that ultimate price. That blood yeah. that saved a soul over the dark corner of Africa can save a little soul here in Sanford, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. And he came to us. And amen. I have faith in him today. I've never seen him face to face, but with my spiritual eyes accept me. Oh, and I've seen him in my life yeah. work time and time again. And I remember the night when I knelt in my altar oh, yeah. and asked yeah. God to save me. Oh, yeah. The blood applied. The yeah. burden was gone. Amen. And I would breathe free of that. Amen. 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 Boy, amen. 
That work, his work was accepted and it, it, it was and it was accepted by the Father. And was imputed. I'll put it in the count of those that believe it. Remember that sacrifice. How about the sacrifice on Calvary? Jesus didn't come to this world just to live. He came to die, folks. Mm -hmm. Bible says in Mark, Mark uh, 10, 45, for the, even the Son of Man come not to minister be, to be ministered to, but to minister and give his life a ransom for many. And died, well, he died on Calvary. That perfect sacrifice. That sinless man as he drugs that cross of Calvary. Listen to this. You ever, you ever read it in one of the Gospels where Simon the Serenian helped him drag his cross? Y'all remember it now? What was that significant about? I'll tell you. Every man or woman that was crucified was required to drag the cross because of the crime they committed. Listen to this. Jesus had committed no crime. But, but Simon's reading was symbolic of the human man, the human race. He carried, the, he carried that, that cross, bearing that cross, because that's what Jesus came to do, to come die and shed his blood, that you would have to go to hell. Remember that, folks. He did that. And we honor our bedroom tomorrow. That's great. We ought to. We should honor him, Jesus Christ, every day, because he paid that price for all of us. Amen. He came to save sinners. Yeah, he did. The Bible says in the faithful saying words of all expectation. Amen. Christ Jesus came into the world to save the sinners. Of whom I'm chief. Right? Amen. <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he had to say, if he, if he came to save sinners, or who was going to save me, he had to die. And that's what he did. The Bible says in Hebrews 9 22, and all day my law must be purged with blood, and all, and all, and amen, and without the shedding of blood, there's no remission. That word remission means forgiveness. Yeah. Thank God my sins are gone. Hey. The night I failed, the night I, the night I knelt, the blood failed. Yeah. So that I become a child of the king. I didn't have to ask nobody, am I saved? Press God, I knew I was saved. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I didn't go, have to go to the creek and get saved. And, if I lie to my salvation, hey, I will save it moment's notice at the very moment I have Jesus in my life. Mm -hmm. Right. Because of his price, his promise, his blood, his power. I'm a child of the king, amen. Why did he die? Why did he go to Calvary? <laughs> Why was his life blood? Shed for me. Love me. Why did he suffer as no man has ever? <coughs> There's just <laughs> one reason. I am the one. Yeah, he loves me. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> And he shed that blood. Let us see this. Hung on Calvary. That blood was running down his side, running down his head face. Mm -hmm. There are men, there are wicked men was at the foot of the cross. Gambling for the clothes he wore. Yeah. The blood was there. But they didn't accept it. Even in the garden, you can see the Bible says that Jesus prayed and he, and he went the came and got the blood. Judas is carried. Just, he, he just betrayed him and came and kissed him. The betrayal kid. He died. Judas is carried. Died. He went to hell with the blood on his lips, but not on his heart. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Too many people today are doing the very same thing. Yeah. Right. They know the God. They know the Christ. Yep. But they never accepted that, accept that finished work on Calvary. You're surprised that people said the church on Sunday night, Wednesday night. 
that know they're not born again, but they're too proud to stand and say, I don't want to get saved. I'm praying. I've always said I'm saved. If I get up there, everybody's going to slide into heaven. I'll tell you one thing, friend. I wouldn't give a hoo hoo what nobody said. Yeah. I wouldn't die and go to hell for nobody. Nobody, right. nobody, man. nobody worth going to hell over him, man. That's right, man. Hey. I'll tell you what, tonight for the, the days, folks, we need to understand. He took her sin upon himself and died on Calvary. They put him in a tomb and buried him. They sealed that tomb up. But the Bible says three days later he was justified in his spirit when God brought him back to the dead. I will tell you what, friend, he died and rose again. Man, you know what? No, no, other, no other lost person, no other person before him or after him had ever done that. We could go to the empty tomb. Even today, Brother Mike, he's not there. Yeah. Oh, he's risen. <laughs> that old lady, uh, 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 that woman, that atheist woman, whenever I sit still with him on that, on that holy tour truth. Holy Land tree tour. They was in a group and they had every every time when they'd go to an attraction, they'd have stopped and kept make sure everybody was there. And they were talking to her before and said, we well, glad you come. We're so glad you come. Be she said, I'm an atheist. I come on this trip. But one reason because of good pride. That's see, that's all I come for. Mm -hmm. Went down there in that too. <laughs> they got the same and he's alive. Got to praise and God. You know, you have to be careful how you do in Israel. Because you have to kind of stay quiet because it Muslim kill you over there. Yeah. But they said they left that tomb and got to the top there. And looked around, and one person was missing. They backtracked, moved back, backtracked where they went from, and they went down there. They heard somebody crying, and that too. Mm. <laughs> that wait was one. Brother Phil, you know to leave your hand to heaven, said he's real. It's <laughs> real. I won't tell you this morning, he's real this morning. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 God, man, good to hold him, amen. Yeah. How they couldn't stop him, yeah. amen. I'm glad he reminds us, Paul reminds us of the rejection of Jesus by the Jews. He came in his own, he don't receive it or not. Came to a, God, he came to people with the gospel where people didn't know God. But he preached among the men and many people got saved. God sent his son to us gospel to a bunch of people that didn't care about God and spit in the face of God. But uh, I'm going to tell you what, friend, what grace, folks. Always remember he's coming back again, folks. He's ascending to heaven. He's ascending, he's ascending to heaven. I'll tell you what, remember that. The Bible says in the last part of the verse, he was, he was received up in the glory. But you know what? He said, I'm going to be, I'll be back though. World War II, when the, when the Japanese overtook the Philippine Islands, there was a soldier there that was there in Patton, George Patton was the greatest general that ever had a walking boot. He had to leave an order by, order by Washington to leave the island. He told that God, he told that, he told them, he said, I promise you, when I, I shall return. McGothy, it was McGothy, it was McGothy. I shall return. And he said, every day, Brother Mike, that, 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 old, that old general, they would laugh at him, and Filipinos, they, they, I mean, the Japanese, they abused him. But under, under, his, under his bed, he kept his uniform. Every day, Brother Mike, he would take that uniform and rub, and, and rub it out and get it smooth. He waited on him to return because he wanted to be presentable before when he come back. Almost two years later, when God took was good in his word. Jesus said, I'm coming back, folks. Yes. Have your garments ready. Yes. I'm going to tell you one thing. You said it here today. Listen to me. There's a great, great possibility you'll be alive when he returns. Yes, sir. Yeah. You better have your wing and calm your song. Yes, right? sir. When Jesus left, he said, I will return yep. to receive you. Yes. Under myself, where I am, there's <coughs> the Yeah. 
Now, you ain't got to ask what they start saying about Beulahanna. Boy, it excites me. Oh, you know why it's a place? That's a real place. Yes, it is. Whoa, my soul. Yes, it is. That place. And I'm telling you one thing we need to understand, folks. Amen. There's more to your sin than you get him riding big boy back to heaven. Let me tell you what, when he, when he accomplished his commission, Jesus went back to the heavenly Father and joined with, with back in that glory he had before, the, before he left. When he comes back again, he'll say, he'll still have his body. But he's going to come back one day. He left in the cloud. He's going to come back on the cloud. That's right. That's right. When he was born, he came. He was... He had a cradle, but when he comes back, he's going to have a cradle. Lord. He's going to be back, come to get us. Mm. Oh, what a day that would be. Amen. Oh, Lord, have one of Jesus' Bible say. Amen. Lord, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I told somebody about it. So you know what, the only thing I dread about the judgment seat of Christ, because I'm going to have a lot of tears to yeah. share because of the things I should have done for God. I didn't yeah. do it, God. Yeah. But one day, we're going to reach that homeland. We're going to go in that place. Brother Philip, I believe it was saints of the Lord mm -hmm. on the other side of heaven. Yeah, there is. Waving mm -hmm. us on. Yeah, yeah. One day, folks, we will be there. Old Spurgeon said, We have been saved, we are being saved, and we shall be saved. Amen. Hey, One day, when we leave this world, he'll see you the more he can get going back. We see him. The disciples saw Jesus there in the, in, in the upper room when he appeared to them. He said his, his, his body is always. But you know what? One thing he didn't lose. He still had the marks in his hand in his spirit. Yes, the Holy Spirit. That old song he sung, God, he ran by about 10 years ago. Uh, the only thing made, man made in heaven is the scars in the hand of the Jesus. But really, it's the wounds in the hand of Jesus. See what he I can't wait to get home. You ever been on a long trip before you want to say, I can't wait to get my home? There's no place like home, and I'm not talking about the wisdom of all these. I'm talking about my home. Amen. But one day, folks, we're going to lay it down. We're going to stand and go before God and stand before Him. We're going to be eternally with Him. This old world is not my home. The more I look at it, the more sick, the sicker I get. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he still has the stripes in his back. But we'll see him that day. He won't be the lovely Nazarene. He'll no longer appear as Isaiah told him he appeared. He was, he was beaten beyond recognition. When we see him, he'll shine with the glory brighter than that of the sun. That's right. I want to tell you something, folks. I'm, I'm closing there. That's all I'm going to do today or this morning. Let's remember. Let's don't forget. Only he will fall away. Stood an old record. The emblem of suffering and shame. For to his own little cross, Jesus suffered and died. To pardon and sanctify me. I want to ask you this morning, have you, have you, how long has it been since you even thanked him? Thanked him for what he's done. Have you had have memories to think about what all took place? How he was beaten beyond medical recognition. He was spit on. His beard was plucked from his face. As he stood down, I believe he might have looked at the crowd and his eyes said the same thing. I'm doing this for you. Amen. And he did. It's Memorial Day. I know a lot of folks are going to celebrate. A lot of folks are celebrating the wrong way tomorrow. They'll drink, have good cookouts, yeah. all kinds of junk. Let's stand today. Let's remember this morning what God, God said for us. Remember that day. Remember what He did. Every day from the morning. Aren't you glad?